Hello, good morning. Wasn't sure actually I hit record, so I had to wait for a second. All right, so what I am doing right here is I'm stringing up my beads. I'm sorting, here, I'll just bring this over. I'm sorting through beads. So like maybe next I'll take all these ones that have the yellow color in them. Um, and I'm sorting those, but you know, and then just stringing them on, it's just, string or yarn whatever you want to call it but anyway sometimes now um if you if you're new to my channel um when i make um when i make these beads and i varnish them see this is what they look like varnish finished they're nice and shiny hard as rock like i cannot squish that <laughs> and I'm trying and I don't have weak hands. I, I just, it is solid. But anyway, um, sometimes with the method that I use to dip these, the dipping method, these get clogged on the inside. Let's see if you can see through there. You can see through it, right? Sometimes the, the stuff gets a little bit clogged on it because uh, the fishing wire that I use, it just, you know, the, the, uh, PC petrifier or the polycrylic, you know, just builds up in there if I don't clean my strings um, appropriately every time. So if that happens, what I like to use is first, I will use just a plain old paper clip. Um, this is like almost the perfect size right here, whatever, whatever size paper clip is. Otherwise, I've been using this as well. Now this is just a yarn needle. The hole on this is a little bit bigger than this. This size here, I do not have any troubles with, um, uh, I don't have any troubles with pushing the, you know, this metal through. This I do sometimes just because, like I said, the hole, is, this, this uh, is, a, is wider than, than this but not by a whole lot, maybe just, I don't know, <laughs> a coating of metal or two, <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I can't do this one hand, one handed, but I'll try. Let's pretend this is up and down, right? So it's, the hole goes through this way, right? Goes vertical. So let's pretend that this is, um, I'm being, I'm holding this with my left, let's pretend I'm holding it with my left hand and not my cell phone, right? So what I'll do is I'll stick this through the hole and I'll just tap gently with this, just a, you know, just a rubber mallet. And it won't go all the way through. Like I said, this is thick. So then I'll take it out, flip it over and go through again and tap a couple times and take it out. Cause usually the plug or, you know, the clogging, if it's clogged, is usually just on one little end and you don't have to tap hard you do not it's not like hitting a nail you don't even you just not even hard at all not on, and then uh take that out and then you should be able to pass this real easy so then you can just uh let's see if i can get it in there one one handed now keep in mind i also have i'm a um I do have depth perception issues, so that could have been a little slower. So then you stick it in there, and then you just uh, twirl it. You hold this, so you, you kind of hold this end and push and and turn at the same time. That, it just evens out if you, uh, it just evens out the hole on the inside. I already did all that, but anyway, it, the process really only takes about a minute at most. And yeah, so, I just figured I would, uh, you know, that way you don't have to waste beads and it still has the nice coating inside and uh, these are still very waterproofed and everything, or at least I have found, I mean, I wouldn't, I would not soak these in water or cleaner or anything. They are paper beads after all, but uh, they definitely are really hard and, you know, they are so pretty solid, but... I don't know. I mean, these have survived. My my dog thought it was a to um thought it was food, so she did bite into one of these once, and there was just maybe a little bit of a dent from her bite mark. But beyond that, 
the hole was still intact and everything. I think I just even just might have filed down the, the edge that she had made and put a little bit of extra um, varnish on it, you know, just in case she scraped some off. And I put it away. I mean, it wasn't this bead specifically. I just meant at some point she had gotten into my beads and, or maybe I had dropped one on the ground, but who knows. Anyway, I just figured I'd talk about, you know, you don't need to waste beads or toss some out just because the hole is a little bit plugged, which does happen. And I'm not going to lie, it does happen, but that's generally how I fix it. Okay. All right. You have a great rest of your day. Bye.